हेलो एंड वेलकम यू आर लर्निंग ए डब्ल्यू एस सिंपल स्टोरेज सर्विस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट आई एम पॉलिसी फॉर एस थ्री बकेट विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रैक्टिकल सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस एज यू आर फॉलोइंग दिस सीरी यू आर अवेयर अबाउट हाउ वी कैन प्रोवाइड access control for our s3 bucket we also discuss that we have mainly three tools first iam policy second s3 bucket access policy and the third one acl what are the differences between iam policy and bucket access policy we already discussed this theoretically in the previous video in this video i am going to explain you i am policy for s3 bucket practically and from next video we will discuss about s3 bucket access policy as well so here i am going to provide you practical understanding of i am policy for s3 bucket here we are going to implement three different policy policy 1 will provide read only access to our iam user on a specific bucket policy 2 will provide write only access and policy 3 will provide full access permission on a specific bucket now i have some resources that i have created for this particular lab i want you to verify this first so here i am inside my aws console and inside s3 i already created three different buckets i named it as per our requirement let's say that the first bucket i have is a read only bucket the another bucket i have a name is a write only bucket and full access bucket so i have three buckets i just provide a name according to the lab requirement you can provide any name in all of these three buckets i have one common file known as sample_file.txt so we can test different scenarios with this particular file in this file i have just a simple text this is my first file that's all now i want to provide access on all this particular folder and different level of access to my iam user so as a part of my first requirement what i am doing i am going to the iam and here i am going to create one iam user going to the users i don't have any user let me go to the users and let's say that s3 user you can give any name to your user yes i want to provide access to the aws console i want to create iam user here i am going to set up custom password i don't want user to change password at next login so going to remove this right now i am not going to attach any policy with this particular user because i just want to verify that what will happen if you are not going to provide any permission to that particular user i know that you are well aware about it because we already discussed about this scenario in the series of iam let me copy this url and let me open new incognito tab so here i am going to log in as a s3 user s3 user now you just need to remember that how i am going to switch from root user to s3 user you will find out that s3 user is in incognito mode so you will get this black uh, chrome browser and here you have s3 user named as well as you know that we have new s3 user and this particular uh, sorry we have new uh, a i am user named s3 user and this user don't have any any permission so if this user is going to access s3 bucket he will get you don't have permission to list the bucket he is not able to get any bucket now we are going to provide a uh, permission to our s3 user to access this bucket different level of bucket different permission another thing that i want to tell you right now i am going as a root another thing that i want to tell you guys that to provide access i am not going to use bucket access policy if you go to any bucket let's say that right now i am in s3 only bucket if you go to the permission you will find out that i am not using bucket policy definitely we will use this but in the next video 
I'm going to provide permission only using IAM policy. Okay. Now, let's go to the mind map. Here, I have first policy. In this policy, I'm going to provide access, read only access to the S3 user on a bucket. The bucket name is read only bucket as well. So here, if you look at this, this is a version of the policy. Here, you will find out two different allow permission. It, it, the first one is used to list all the buckets inside your S3. So my user can able to find out the list of the bucket. And here, if you look at this, we are allowing user for the get object. Get object means user can see the list of the object inside the bucket. And this is like a very simple, you will get the list, not able to delete any object, you are not able to put any object. So this is like a very simple policy. If you want to understand this one, we call it ARN. ARN means Amazon resource name. Let's say that if I want to find out ARN of my any bucket, how I can find it out. So in order to find out the bucket ARN, you have to go to the bucket. Here it is read only bucket, then you have to go to the properties and from here you will find out this bucket you are ARN, Amazon resource name and you have to use this in your policy. So this is like a simple policy which is providing read only access. What I am doing, I am going to copy this policy, selected control C. Now let me go to the IAM, here inside IAM I just created one user, now I am going to the policies. Here I have many policy as you know that we have AWS manage policy which is ready to use policy you can use it and the another policy we have is we can create our own policy it is known as customer manage policy so here I am going to create customer manage policy so inside policy I am going to click on create policy I have JSON document ready so I don't want to go with the visual option I am going with the JSON here I am going to delete this one and I am going to paste this. As I told you, the first permission is allowing us to list all the buckets and this is for a specific bucket name read dash only dash bucket dash box. Okay. So I just created this policy. Now here I am giving name. Let's say that cloud fox S3 user read only. Okay. Now, let me click on create policy. As you know that we are giving permission using IAM policy. And IAM policy is actually identity based policy. Here, inside policy, we just added detail about, uh, about resource. Means we want to give permission on this particular bucket. But policy will attach with the user. So, what I have to do right now, I have to go to the users. This is my S3 user. If you look at this, there is a no permission attached with this particular user. So I'm going to click on add permission. And here I'm going to attach policy with this particular user. So here I have to select attach policy directly. And let's say that cloud, cloud Fox S3 user read only. I just selected this next add permission and finally attach permission with my S3 user. Now we want to test this. Let me go to the incognito tab. As you know that previously I got this, you don't have permission. Now look at this, what is happening? Here, as a S3 user, I am able to get list of all the buckets. Why? Because if you look at this, here we have this specific permission allowed over here. S3 list all my buckets. Now, am I able to access full access bucket? Insufficient. Write only, insufficient, but I am able to access read only. Why? Because here we have get object inside the read only. So this is permission and because of this, I am able to go inside this bucket. Now, can I able to open the object? Yes, this is my first file. Yes, I am able to access this object. Why? Because we know that we have read only permission. Can I able to delete this object? No, it will not allow me to delete this. Why? Because I have read-only permission. 
if I'm going to upload any object, will it allow me? 100% no, because I have, see upload fake, because I have read only permission. So now you can find out that, okay, we just provided permission to the user and user is actually uh, able to access resources according to the permission. Now let's go one step ahead and let's go with the write only permission. Now, here we have like a policy statement. Here we have allow option first and we are just going to allow like list bucket. And if you look at this, this is a main policy op option. Look at this here, we have put object. I have put object permission over here. It means I can put anything, but I don't, I'm not able to uh, access any other object. So here I can upload any files, but I cannot delete any existing file or even I cannot able to open any existing file. I want you to see this effect, what is actually happening when I'm providing write only access because, because this is the most important part of the learning. So what I'm doing, I'm going to copy this policy. And here, again, I am going to the IAM console, going to the policy. Let me click on create policy. JSON, I am going to paste this. Look at this. The, the permission we have is put object. And we are giving permission on write only bucket. Okay. So let's click on next. Let's say that cloud fox. Write. Okay, CloudFox, S3 user, and write. Okay. Create policy. And now, I'm going to assign this policy to the user. Before I'm going to assign them, I want you to verify this as well. If I'm going to the write-only object, I'm getting insufficient permission to list all the object. Right? Let assign policy to the user. Going to the S3 user. Going to the add permission and attach policy directly. Here, I am going to search this cloud fox, S3 user right. Next, add permission. Permission successfully added. And if you look at this, these two. You may have this question that why you are creating a different policy for different uh, environment. You can create single policy and you can add all the statement for read only and write only access. Yes, you can do this. But I want you to understand all this step, uh, step by step. And that's why just I am creating separate policies. That's all. Now, let's test this. Going to the bucket. Let me open write only bucket. And right now, I'm able to list this. First of all, I want to open this. Okay. Can I able to read this object? What we have inside this object? Can I able to read this? Let me check it out. See this time it is saying no because I don't have this permission. I have only one permission and the permission is to put any object. If I will try to delete this object, definitely it will say no to me because I have only put object. So let's test it out. No. Now I'm going to upload any object. This time I will be successful because I have this permission. Let's say that I'm going to upload this bucket picture a PNG file and upload succeed and I'm able to do this. You may have this question that, okay, I just uploaded one file over here. Can I able to delete my own file uploaded by S3 user itself? No, you can't do this. You don't have this permission to delete your own object as well. Let me select this, delete, delete. See, no, I'm not able to do this. So, we have successfully completed how we can provide read-only access. We also completed write-only. And the final, we have full access. If I'm trying to access this bucket, definitely it will say no to me because I don't have permission for this. What I'm doing right now, I'm going to the my mind map and here we have third option. Now, if you look at this, it is the most important part. Here we have bucket ARN, that is what you already aware. But look at this in the accent tab. Here in the accent, we have S3 dot star. S3 dot star means S3 put object included, S3 get object, list object, everything is added over there. Okay, so now this user can able to perform any operation with our 
bucket and the bucket name is full access full dash access bucket dash box right so let's let's copy this and we are going to perform the same process going to the iam going to the policies create policy json paste next cloud fox full s3 user let's click on create policy and now i have to attach this policy with the users as well so let me go in, let me go to the users user again i am telling you i can create single policy and add everything over there but i am just going step by step and creating three different policy let's click on add permission attach policy cloud fox full s3 user next add permission and now it is done you will find out over here now let's test this so s3 user bucket going to the full access i can able to see the object inside this bucket but i have full access right now so i am able to open this yes this is my first file i have permission to open any file if i'm going to upload any object over here it will allow me because i have full access on this particular bucket so let me upload this yes yes if i'm going to delete any file let me delete both of these files so delete i have this permission as well because right now i have full control on this particular bucket and yes this is done and if you look at this here we just provided three different permission on a three different bucket read only write only and full access i just provided all these three permission using iam policy but we have one another option as well to provide permission we call it s3 bucket access policy we will do same thing we will provide same permission on all these buckets but this time means in the next video we will use bucket access policy then we will combine both of policies as well to understand the algorithm like how the system is actually working this is really very interesting game but for this you have to play this and to play this you have to watch our videos please complete all the videos thank you very much see you in the next video have a nice day goodbye